Oh, wow. Okay, we got a giant flamey thing over there as well. Oh, there's a doggo! Hello, doggo! I mean, I've already got a Fred. I don't technically need another one. Yeah, I know. You're throwing bugs at me. Guess what? I'm not all that worried about them. I can just sit here and wave my little magic wand around like a flippin' lunatic. Okay, really quick. Let's just get in here and smack the crap out of this thing. There. Okay, bugs, go away. Worse than a bloody 4th of July picnic. Forming the duties of his office. Of Digby C. Caesar. Well, hey, everybody. Thanks for stopping by. I am Digby, and today we are back in Satisfactory. Now, real quick, let me show you what we've done between episodes. Um, we've added... I don't know if you can see it over here, but we've actually tweaked out the steel line. So we now have a thing that is making nothing but steel ingots. We got one making... Was it steel plates and the... I oh, don't know. Steel pipes and then steel beams. And over here, I have brought up the pure steel that we unearthed in the last episode... And I've got it split up and doing nothing else apart from making... Oh, you know what? That's a really bad idea. Let's go down the ladder. Catch the ladder. Ow. Okay, anyway. I basically have this thing making... Uh, what are they called? Modular frames. Yeah, this entire thing is basically using that entire iron deposit just to make modular frames. You can probably see how fast that's going. It's because I had to use Mark III belts just to have it actually be able to keep up. But yeah, it's essentially one little bit of it is going into steel ingot production, which is being shuffled over sideways to the other steel ingots as well. And then the rest of it, I broke up into three. And I think I've got one... I'm trying to think. I got one making... Well, I think basically there's two making rods, one making plates. So that one's doing rods. That one's doing plates. Over on this side, we're also doing rods. And then one of the rods gets turned into screws. The screws get thrown into the reinforced iron plates, which then meet up with the other thing of rods, and they become modular frames. Uh, okay, now let's go look at the rest of it, and then we've got a lot of things to do today. Okay, so over here in the coupon machine, as you can see, it is now cranking out coupon points way faster than it was in the last episode, because I found another copper deposit. I brought that all the way over here. I think that's it. Yeah, this is on Mark II belts, but... This is essentially making ingots, the ingots become wire, the wire then becomes cable, and because cable is a multi-process item, it's giving me, what does it look like, 14 points, I think, per uh, thing? Yeah. No, wait a minute, that's 24 points. Yeah, we're getting 24 points per item, which is actually generating coupons quite quickly. And I have actually gone through the system, and I have upgraded, well, basically belts here, there, and everywhere to Mark II and Mark III. Pretty much I upgraded whatever I needed to upgrade to whatever I needed to upgrade it to, so that I could balance the system a lot better and start producing things at a much faster rate. Now, the only other big thing I did was I unlocked Stage 2 of the Space Elevator so that we could have oil production, which, by the way, took me freaking hours to unlock this bloody thing doing it by hand. Anyway, yes, we now have oil production, or at least we will, as soon as I push this button. Milestone reached. Oil acquisition and refining unlocked. Oil-based products can now be made. The byproducts of oil refinement can be used after further processing, as seen in the refinery. Caution. This is a reminder to minimize the chance of expiration during out-of-base activities. Okay, was that it? I thought there was going to be another sentence at the end of that. Anyway, yes, now we have oil production. I cannot remember what that gave us, however... I think it was... Uh, not oil production, oil processing. Okay, yes, so we can do the weird plastic stuff that we needed so desperately. Circuit boards are a thing. Oil extractors, which are good. we got a refinery now, so we can refine it, and just all kinds of new stuff. Now, let me just have a quick think about what I want to do after this, and then, yeah, we're going to go get some oil. All right, well, as much as I would love to have my jetpack, I think that alternative fluid transport is actually going to be 
the more practical thing to get first. So, yeah, because that'll let us get oil over here, and we can start building it up, and then we could actually put a packager on this end of things, and we can start using oil products to handcraft the things we need to kind of unlock some of the other stuff. So, yeah, we're definitely going for oil first. Oh, actually, before we do oil, you know what we need to do? We need to figure out where there's quartz nearby. So please tell me there's some quartz, because I want to get at least one quartz line running up here as well. I know we need that for a lot of other things. Oh, okay, well, we've got one. All right, so we've got 773 meters that way. 964 meters that way. Oh, and there's another one way, way off in the distance. All right, well, I tell you what, that doesn't look like it's that far away. So, yeah, before we do oil, let's run over there real quick and see what we've got for quartz. All right, quartz. It looked like it was down by our, kind of our crappy iron deposit. Hello? Pop up, please. Oh, okay, there it is. Oh, I was going to say, it's further away, but it's further away because we're not on the end of the freaking platform anymore. Okay, yeah, that's all kind of down here where this uh, iron line runs from, so we should be able to just hop up on the iron and follow the conveyor belts down. All right, well, if you're 600 meters this way... Oh, hello, birdie. <laughs> Want to race? Okay, it looks like it's down... Hold on, let me just stop moving. Oh, for God's sakes, it went away again. Stop it. Okay, that's down there, kind of in that little valley area. And that one actually looks like it's just out past the end of the belt. Uh, you know what? We'll go to the one that's closest to the end of the belt. Because if it is close to the end of the belts, we can actually run it back along the same line. Okay, that's the end of the iron line, and it says it's 500 meters out. Oh. Okay. Well, hold that thought. It's not that big of a logistical problem if we can find it nearby. Is that it, like, way over there? Oh, I really wish we had binoculars in this game. I think we'll be able to make it out. Oh, okay, there's three deposits of it. They're right over there. And our iron line ends here. All right, well, it looks like the other one's kind of along that same line. So how about we zip out around the edges here and see if we can find the one that's closest. All right, it's definitely not that way because that is a cliff. Now, there's probably monsters out this way somewhere. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, where are you at? Okay, we got one on the... Alright, one's on the other side of this mess. I thought I'd turn quick enough, but apparently I didn't. Oh, hello, hold on. There's a power slug down there. Um, power slug, I very much want you. So, I'm going to ramp down to you, and we are going to steal you. Right about there, maybe? Oh, yeah, you know what? That'll work. Okay, hello, Power Slug. Yeah, we need these things so we can make power shards and... Uh-oh. Apparently it's protected. Yeah, we need it to make power shards so we can overclock our machines. Come here, Spooter. Alright, were there two Spooters or just the one Spooter? And is this a cave or something? Um, okay, well, I can use you as well. Hello, Dowerlink. Come to daddy. Ah. Ah. Ooh, there's another one down there. Also guarded by a spooter. That's gonna take me bloody forever to pick all these ramps up. You know that? Um, hello. Okay, so much for building ramps. I did not know you could do that. Where the hell did he go? Okay, it's here somewhere. Hello, there you are. Where were you? I'm going to have to look in the edit and see if I can figure out where the hell he was hiding. Um, I'm almost dead. I don't want to die now. Can we uh, have some health, please? 
Okay, that was really close. Did he actually sneak up into them? Is that a thing spooters can do? Oh, whoops, that, no. Go on, no, don't do that either, Digby. Just start building ramps so you can go get your stupid power slug. You know what, build one more. I know I'm standing on it. Okay, I'm trying not to. Can we just... There, thank you. I just want to go get the stupid power slug and get the hell out of here. I'll probably grab some mushrooms or whatever the hell they are while we're here. Zoop, thank you. Now, what the hell is down there? Alright, we got another spooter over there. Not worried about him. I want to know what's down here. Oh, there's like an underground river. And more power slugs. Okay, this is a very cool location. I am going to have to try and remember where the hell this is. Because I have a sneaking feeling this kind of place could prove seriously useful. Okay, I just need to remember it's down here. Oh, and not fall. That would be nice. Okay, can we please get back to the quartz hunt? Because that's sort of what I wanted to do today. Okay, quartz is over there. We're being hunted by something. That would be you. Alright, come on. That was not terribly bright of you, Mr. Bacon. Okay, is it in here somewhere? Um, it's gotta be here somewhere. Okay, it says it's this way. Where this way? Oh, please don't be up on top of that stupid hill. I mean, we can get up there if we have to, but... Oh, actually, it looks like we can just run up the side anyway. So if this deposit's up here... Okay, there's that one. Oh, we got one over here as well. Alright, you are normal. Oh, okay. We have a guardian over here as well. A couple of them from the looks of it. How about you guys just don't pay any attention to me? Alright, that one's normal. Are you getting ready to charge? Of course you're getting ready to charge. Come on, then. I'm just gonna... Oh, there's a flamey one over there. Yeah, I'm just gonna jump over you and then kick your butt. Okay, that one didn't come after me. He's a bit busy, from the looks. Yeah, fall off the edge. That would be hysterical. Alright, this deposit's normal. I'm gonna go just pick a fight with him and get it over with. It'll save a lot of time in the end. Fall off, fall off the cliff. Okay. I mean, I'm not gonna argue. <laughs> now, where's the secondary quartz deposit at, exactly? Okay, 200 meters this way. Oh, looks like we might have a bit of a shipwrecky thing going on over here as well. That would be nice. Alright, who's after me now? Oh, you. Come on, then. Thank you for the bacon. Aha! There is a friggin' shipwreck pod thing over here. And I'm pretty sure that over there is the quartz we're after. Now, is there anything guarding this pod? Something is guarding this pod. Wait a minute, we got one, two... That's it, two monsters? Okay, well, I can deal with two monsters. Now, what do you need to actually work? 15 megawatts and two crystal oscillators. Ah, oh, damn it. I don't know what a crystal oscillator is. That's fine. I'll take your screws. I'll take your reinforced plates. Take your wire. Oh, aha! There are some more things over here. 
Oh, come on. I want the modular frames. What do you mean I don't have any more space? You know what? I don't need any of that crap. In fact, I don't need any of these friggin' meat bits, as far as I can tell. Where's the rest of them? Didn't I pick up spidery ones as well? I did. Okay, you get out of my inventory. I want the modular frame. Thank you. Okay, quartz deposit. Please be pure. I like pure deposits. They save a lot of time and grief in the end. Crap, it's normal. I have a feeling all three of these are going to be normal, so I'm not even going to bother with that. Okay, well, I'm thinking what we're going to do is we're going to hook up miners to the ones on top of the hill there, and I think those can be our quartz lines. And if we need more later, we can always expand down to where that little wreck thing was. Okay, we are safely back home. I have cleaned out as much of my inventory as I could clean out at the moment. Let's have a look and see where the nearest oil is. Now, if I know the map as well as I think I do, there should be some out that way in a kind of a weird blue environment. Okay, it says 925 that way. What do you mean this oil is only 810 meters away? Okay. Did not realize it was that close. Let's run over here to the edge and see if we can figure out exactly where that is. Because that would be incredibly handy if I didn't have to go across half the bloody map to get it. Alright, can I see it from here? Somehow I doubt it, but I'm going to try. Is it down there, maybe? It is, and holy crap, there's four of them. Okay, let's go have a look down at the geography and start pondering the logistics of this scenario. Right, getting down there does not look that bad. I mean, that's the top of that cliff that we had to climb, so our power liney things... Oh, yeah, okay, so we can just run down there. And then are we going to have to jump down another cliff to get over there? I have no idea. Are they just the four? Hang on. Okay, there are four. Now, if I remember right, though, I can look on the map and it will tell me... Oh, they're impure. Okay. Oh, no, there's a normal over there. A couple of normals over there. What about this stuff here? I tell you what, though. I mean, it's a couple hundred extra meters, but it doesn't seem like that is that far to go, considering the extra quality we're going to get out of it if we go over there instead. So, yeah, let's head over there and see what those deposits look like. One hour later. Okay, we're here. Whoa, 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 okay. You know what? Apparently, I need to go a little bit higher to avoid the poison. You guys know I'm just going to whack you like golf balls, right? I mean, that's a really, really silly idea. Here, you, thing down there. I got an idea. How about you... Say hello to my little friend. I just hope it doesn't kill the power slug. Okay. Let's try a little bit further up there and see if... Oh, hello. Oh, shoot. That's on the cement now. I don't actually know if I can blow my own things up. No, I cannot. However, that was a complete waste of dynamite. Okay, I... No, I want it over on the thing. Oh, for God's sakes. I am a terrible shot. Try it again and stop trying to blow yourself up, Digby, you fool. There we go. One more time. I think we'll take that out. Oops, I thought I was throwing it. Okay, that one's gone. Now, how many of these do I have left? I got eight total. So, you know what? I'm going to get rid of that bloody thing right there. Give me another one. Yes, I know. You bugs love you. Oh, shoot. That was a terrible, terrible shot. Yeah, you bugs like your little home. However, you're about to lose it. Now, where's the stupid thing that was spitting fire at me? Oh, apparently I blew that up as well. Okay, as I was saying, way back when before the wildlife got all uppity, 
I think we're a little too low to the ground, and we're getting poisoned. Yeah, 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 I know. You're done with your friggin' research thing. I'm not all that fussed about it. Come on, Digby, learn the controls. Here, let's just do it this way. Let's get back up a little bit. No, there you go. Let's say four more up, I think. Thanks, 12. That should be what? Eight, 16 meters higher up. Hopefully that will be above the cloud of poison and horrible yuckiness. Okay, we got one there, we got one there, we got one in the middle. There's only the three? Alright, well, you know what? That's fine, because we can run them across this mess here. Okay, don't land in the middle of my things. Now, what do I need to get oil out of the ground? Oil extractor. Now, what do I need to build an oil extractor? What do you mean, invalid? Well, I know I can't afford it. I want to know what I need to build it. I gotta have... Oh, God. 15 motors. 20 encased industrial beams. Okay, so I gotta have 60 encased industrial beams. And... 45 bloody motors. Alright, well, lucky for you guys, you don't have to watch me make the long run home, and then do all the miserable handcrafting, and then make the long run back, just so we can have oil. Yeah, for you guys, I'll be back in about 10 seconds. Actually, that probably felt more like 5. Okay, big thing, I need you to please get off of my oil deposit, because I have now got what I need to set stuff up, I think. I'm putting it on a resource node, am I not? Okay, now am I close enough? No, not logistics, dum-dum. Production. Oil extractor. There we go. Okay, there's one. Oh, crap, I need cable. Okay, hold on. Look, dude, I just got back, and you're trying to kill me already? Okay, well, here. I got a present for you. Where did you go? Okay, where did he go? There you are. Why did that not work? He should have been extremely, extremely dead. Oh, let's try, uh... Okay, turn around. Turn around a little bit. Come on back. Come on back. Okay. That didn't work either. You're beginning to annoy me, my friend. That's got it sorted out. Okay, now, can I please, for the love of God... Oh, hold on. There's a, uh, wrecked pod over there. Oh, wow. Okay, we got a giant flamey thing over there as well. Oh, there's a doggo! Hello, doggo! I mean, I've already got a Fred. I don't technically need another one. Yeah, I know. You're throwing bugs at me. Guess what? I'm not all that worried about them. I can just sit here and wave my little magic wand around like a flippin' lunatic. Okay, really quick. Let's just get in here and smack the crap out of this thing. There. Okay, bugs, go away. Worse than a bloody 4th of July picnic. Holy crap, I'm almost dead. Okay, let me get some health in me. Nope, I want my boomstick back, please. Okay, I've got two more plants I absolutely must kill. So let's say we don't miss any bugs this time. Like that. Alright, run in there. Beat the crap out of it. Quickly. Back up, because I know it's throwing bugs at me. Bugs coming in over there, too. Alright, you lot. Come on. Let's do this. I'm going to pick that up while I'm here. And this time, we're just going to charge. I'll grab that. Oh, hello. Yes, I saw you earlier. Stop it. 
Stop it. Stop it. Bloody hell. I don't know what's in this thing, but it better be friggin' worth it. Okay, we got a circuit board. Holy crap, there's geothermal power over here, too. Excellent. Okay, this is just a chunk of that. Yeah, once we unlock hydroelectrics, we can actually put them on there. Alright, what else is around this thing? You know what? We didn't even look to see what we needed to open it. Another three encased industrial beams. That is actually not that difficult. Oh, shoot. Another one. Didn't even see you over here. I tell you what, that all could have gone a lot worse. So I just have to remember to come back with encased industrial beams. And we can grab ourselves another hard drive. Alright, that one's connected correctly. All we need now is you. And I think that'll do it, yes? Everything's coming through. Everything has nice pressure. And we just gotta get it up to... Well, kind of like this level here. Okay, there we go. We've got the pipes all the way up to this level. Although it does not appear that I'm getting any oil in this one. Hold on. We can test this quick enough. Let's just pop a foundation out. Throw out a quick uh, test pipe, as it were. Yes, please. Okay, yeah, we're getting good flow up here, so don't worry about that. Yeah, that thing has been driving me nuts for about the last, oh, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes? <sighs> okay, now, we've got to undo all of this crap, because I want to keep the pipes up at the same level we're currently on. Okay, so far so good. And it's one, two, three, four... Okay, I can get five foundations, and then I have to build another one out to catch the pipe. Gotcha. So one, two, three, four, five, and if I did this correctly, the math, I should be able to then bring a pipe over to this bit. Whoops. And push the button, Big B. Try not to screw that up. Okay, well, it's going to take me a little while to get all this mess home, but we're well underway. Many, many minutes later. Okay, there we go, sorted. Now, I want to send one line down to the power floor... And the other one up there to... Uh, the other two, rather, up there to production. So I'm going to have to run down there real quick, aren't I? And kind of widen that platform out a little bit. And then I should be able to just send that straight down. Okay, hopefully this is going to be wide enough. Now, one thing we do need is a fluid buffer down here. In fact, I think for preference, I'd like to have two, kind of like we did with the water up top. So, let's put one of those there. And stick the other one there. And run a pipe between them. So, hello, pipes. Yes, come back out. And now we just need to run a pipe from the one farthest away. Crap, it's not going to work. Okay, hold on. I apparently... Oh, for God's sakes, dig bait. I apparently need a little bit more of a foundation down here. Hold that thought. And there we go. We've now got oil up on the resource line. So now let's see how complicated it's going to be to add some oil power to our existing power network. Okay, well, that's actually going to be a lot harder than I thought because it's a tier 6 thing that we haven't unlocked yet. God damn it. Alright, well, I'm a little bit disappointed that we couldn't actually get oil power yet, but I have gotten these two lines hooked up to the fluid buffers, and they are ready to be hauled up here and thrown into production. And we do have the other oil line down there ready to go, as soon as we do unlock oil power. And yeah, all in all, I'm going to call this one a very successful episode. So I think in between this one and the next, what I'm going to do is I will get all the petroleum-based 
production set up and get that going. And then, yeah, next episode we will work on unlocking some more stuff. Maybe we go find some more oil. Um, oh, actually, next episode we probably ought to get quartz going as well. So, yeah, we've still got lots and lots of things to do. But, as always, I have been Digby. He has been Fred. We thank you guys for stopping by. We really hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Satisfactory. And, yeah, we hope to see you for the next one.